You've got a really good amount of regrowth. I'm loving my hair yeah, at the moment. I know. It feels I know. really like that feels healthy. I know you. I I always worry about it being yeah. healthy. The yeah, only it does look so good. thanks. It's a little yellow hair. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm thinking of, and it's my fault. I jumped in the chlorine pool mm. in Bali. Yes, we spoke about that. Yeah. We never did anything about it. Well, it, it was because it wasn't no. bad enough really to do anything, yeah. but it's fine. Um, sometimes have, in some lighting it just looks a little bit, it throws a bit of yellow, I think. Have I coloured your hair since? Yeah. Uh, since uh, the barley thing? No, maybe not, I don't no. know. No, you right. have a toner. Okay, cool. So, if you're loving your hair now, like minus that, mm. does that mean you don't, do you want to keep your regrowth? Because I'm happy to do whatever you want. Well, I was actually thinking maybe a bit of blonde. really good I'm yeah I'm feeling good about like the health cool. of my hair um but you like, hear the refreshing yeah yeah cool. like um, the goal for me is to be blonde mm. I think the ends look I do often try and lift them a little bit and I yeah. think that's where it can get a little iffy yeah so I'm gonna be mindful to be very gentle on your ends yeah the only thing that that means is that I might not be able to shift that out perfectly yeah. Um, but I think to completely remove it and to really brighten that up, I think it would be a little bit too damaging. Yeah. Considering that our goal is healthy hair. Yeah. So I'll then, leave that for the end and we'll okay. see. Thanks. Um, sometimes I tip it out at the chair. Obviously, yeah. you would have heard me talk about that. I'm not going to do that today. Okay. I'm going to focus on regrowth and then at the basin, I'll do a bit of lifting on your ends. Great. It's a bit more controlled, so it's not on as long. Mm -hmm. So better for the condition. We're also going to put Katie in. Yay! We always come in on the same vibe. Yes, we did. <laughs> we got this. When do we today? go? <laughs> so, um, full head of foils, brighten the roots, tip out the basin, keep your hair healthy. I'll trim up your um, haircut and then I'm going to give you a big bougie blow out. I've just been talking to Claudia um, about bleaches. So I was asking her if I could do. If you have what you thought about the cream in a foil. Okay, so you're saying do purple bleach with clay half half. Potentially bump up to 30. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, I've been off the floor for around six months. So um, obviously not doing that day in, day out, seven clients a day. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to experiment as much with the bleachers and my girls they are doing that so I'm just asking their advice I always love to check in with them and see what they're doing um the bleach that I would usually use I don't have here today so I was just asking Claudia what she thought about doing the cream in a foil which I think is risky because of the bleeding but I was interested to try it anyway I'm not going to do that um I'm going to go with my uh ultimate lightener half of this and then half with clay and um, Claudia was just saying to bump up to 30 volt which is something I don't ever do but um, I will see how I'm going Grace's hair is so naturally like I don't think I need to bump up but once I get to the front I'll see how, I'll see how it feels <laughs> <laughs>
I just did a foil off the board thing, um, which I never did. But I just felt like I needed to get into that little spot and I couldn't quite get there. And I'm always so stubborn, I'm like, no, I'm never doing anything off the board. But um, I, can, I can see why people do it and why it can be good. But also, just watch me now, I just feel like this is so slow. It's just too slow to me, this process. Pushing up in there. I can't feel. Okay? No. Slow. Time my bullet. I just wanted to share this. I'm about to add a little bit of heat here. I'm not a fan of adding heat to foil, but sometimes for my center panel, when I'm just trying to catch it up to the back, just a couple minutes heat can really just push that along and help with your timing. So you just chill here. I'm gonna do a timer for 10 and then I reckon we'll be ready to cool. it off. Um, I'm just mixing up for Grace's toning. Um, I'm mixing up my cream lightener. I'm just gonna mix that, actually we've got the wrong bowl there, um, with a little bit of 10 bowl. I think 10 bowl is enough. It's gentle enough, but it was strong enough just to budge her ends. I'm sure you saw throughout that video. It actually does have quite a bit of warmth there. Wanting to keep her hair healthy, but um, I do want to shift it so that it matches at least with um, my uh, fresh colour that I'm doing through here. So I'm going to mix a bit of this. As I'm pulling out the foils, you'll see me in a minute, uh, I will apply it through the ends and just kind of budge that and even it all out. And then um, I always find it a little hard to choose toning before I see the final result. But in my head, I'm not wanting to do too much. I just want to leave it quite raw and and bright um grace got like a natural level eight ish even maybe higher so it doesn't need too much i'm thinking in my 10 level so 10 or oh 10.2 is what i've grabbed yeah that's it yeah. there we go <laughs> um and of course with my 3.5 